Thank you so much for staying tuned. We would have heard a little bit of Lord Beginner's Jamaica Hurricane as we have a conversation with a freelance journalist, uh, Jerry McDaniel, or freelance broadcaster rather, who is speaking to us from Jamaica. Good morning, Mr. McDaniel. Thank you for making the time this early morning. How are things at this point in time where you are? It's lit. How are you doing? I'm all right, thank you. It's good. It's literally the calm before the storm. We, we Yesterday we had a little bit of uncertainty. When you checked anywhere, you saw the usual hustle, bustle, scramble in terms of retail outlets. And then, of course, there were those who were just kind of wait and see. We do have that uh, problem sometimes where we, we, we just... You know, kind of sit on the sit on the fence and watch. Even though we're in a hurricane belt, even though this has been part of our history for decades and decades, we still have those who just kind of are skeptical that something is going to happen or that it, it's necessary to do certain types of preparation. But then, as nightfall came, you could hear, uh, well, a little before nightfall, actually. Uh, say late evening, you could hear a lot of banging on rules. People were securing their rules. And I think this came as a result of the accelerating coverage on our national TV stations and radio stations and, you know, describing in greater detail the potential threat. Uh, one, the fact that this is a, the system had slowed down. And I think we know from time immemorial that once the system goes slowly, that is a, a threat. That's even more of a threat because it has time to gather momentum, the winds intensify, and it's not so far in the past that we've seen what a, 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 a heavy category hurricane can do. And the, the last one that rendered some serious damage, Ivan, was not as big, and it was not, it didn't do as, as much as this one can potentially do. So I think we're now starting to see a lot more frenetic kind of activity as nightfall came. Right now, it's starting, just about starting to rain, on cue, almost as if the, the elements knew that we were talking, because it was just a little patter every now and then. Uh, no wind, oddly enough. Usually by now you hear, you feel some kind of a, uh, you know, agitation in the atmosphere. Um, even though the system is a, a way off, it was unusually still in terms of wind, even though there were light um, drops of rain. Now it's starting to rain very, very, very heavily. Um, in fact, I've had to raise my voice the amount of, of uh, rain, the intensity of the rain outside. Still not much in terms of wind. And um, checking in with friends and relatives across, it seems as if on the exterior, there's nobody in sight out there. I mean, there, are, there have been times in the past where, you know, people have been just curious and going out there, uh, abandoning care, due care, and just wanting to see. <laughs> and, you know, just disregarding the, um, the, 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 the imminent danger. I think a lot of the coverage from the Eastern Caribbean has done a lot for people to be a little bit more sober, especially um, what happened on Carrier Cook and how it just, you know, we looked at the footage and whatnot. I think lots of people looked at that with, with a kind of a sober judgment and said, oh, yes. Um, sure, we're just a just an, an island. Yes, maybe just a little bit um, more resilience. But this storm is, is is serious. It's serious. So things got a little quieter. People kind of left the roadways, um, not the kind of reckless curiosity that I've seen in the past. So it does seem as if, based on the reports. So it seems as so it seems as though we would have lost Mr. McDaniel. So, and one of the things, and but I'm very glad that he was able to set that tune. Mm -hmm. And it sounds uh, as though we can make some parallels here in terms of people just fast. <laughs> so they're looking to see. Right. Because it's, I also got a sense of once they did, in fact, see, thanks to the news and other media houses, that they did take it seriously. I mean, the preparation that they would have had would have been a short time as well because they're waiting to see where it's going. I don't think that when we were on alert, any sort of adverse weather alert, we had a, they had any inclination that it was 
going to be, uh, they were going to be in the path of the hurricane altogether. So I could understand the, a bit of complacence and let's wait and see rather than get panicked for no reason. But at the I same time, that. in terms of like having that history, looking at that true. song from Lord Beginner, which wasn't crafted yesterday, it's not true, a soca. True, true, true. Uh, looking at the fact that people are singing Love in There with Wild Gilbert. Uh, but it seems as though Mr. McDaniel is back. And Mr. McDaniel, you said that you were checking out a little bit. Uh, and it's good that there is a, a nationwide sort of preparation, but do, are there any indications of where landfall might be? Because I know one of the places that sometimes Ooh, has to be a bit Let nervous. Let where I am, see if I can get into a, a quieter spot in there. Oh. Okay. And thank you. Yes, um, Just checking we'll to see that you can hear me now. Is this better, Mr. McDaniel? Okay, it seems as though he's still trying to shift to that quieter spot. Jerry? Okay, but like, but, but like, but it seems as though we may have lost him again. And this may be part of the cause because he said it's almost as on cue when we started to have the conversation. Rain said, eh, eh. Mm-hmm. That's don't, what I'm thinking. Don't talk to them. <laughs> I'm genuinely thinking. He's surprised by the calm before the storm, but I am not. I'm thinking that he's going to have a lot of trouble, and I hope that he's prepared too. Mm. But speaking of preparation, he may be here again, Mr. McDaniel. Jerry? There okay, is I'm, some... I'm hearing a little bit, but he may still be trying to shift to, to where he can hear me. I'm curious as to where we're seeing, like you were going to ask where the landfall might be, uh, because again, that will impact who needs to prepare more and how. And I wonder how much, uh, estimated at least, how much there actually will be uh, in terms of devastation or, or wind speeds and those sort of specifics. It seems like all of the reports thus far were not giving those particulars just yet. But one of the things that I look at is the fact that a place that has been hit on more than one occasion is St. Thomas, mm -hmm. which is basically the, no woman stands easy, the eastern tip of Drew. No, I had to work out the my eastern cardinal tip. points. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of banana production there. But trying for one last time, Jerry, you there with us? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I, because of the volume of rain, I'm trying to find the most quiet spot <laughs> in, the, in the house. And, and um, so I lost you for a little bit. Not a problem. But if you can hear us, we can hear you very well. Thank you. Uh, but are there any projections of landfall or where exactly? Um, like, oh, I was saying, I think perhaps when we got cut off that it, 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 it has been changing. It was, now I think the best estimate is, is mid-morning. Um, initially, it was afternoon, but I think the system is bearing down more quickly than previously anticipated. And it is like that with storms. You know, it, you, you can never have a, an exact prediction, and storms have been known to turn drastically as well. So um, the most recent prediction I heard was mid to late morning. And just now when we were talking, the, the outer bands, I think, is what started to affect us because it went from zero to almost 100 in terms of the rain. Um, it, it's kind of it's so heavy. It's a little difficult even to hear oneself at this time. But the wind factor has not kicked in yet. It's just rain. And so I think it's just the outer bands that are affecting us now. But it's pretty heavy. Not a time for anybody to be outside at all because we do not know for sure the wind factor will chip in, and in any event, we don't want anybody to be caught in a waterlogged environment because, as we probably know, although the effects of the wind are dramatic, you see a lot of action, and it does cause death. Most deaths in a hurricane are from water situation, drowning and washing away of the breed that then can, um, you know, render blunt trauma to animals, to people, to buildings and whatnot. So now is the time for everybody, if they've been curious and looking out, to, to batten down some more and not to allow the curiosity of the outside to, to pull them out because people do sometimes get carried away and, and step out. It's really just starting to rain in earnest just when we were on the phone just now, and it has continued at a very steady, intense pace, but 
again, the wind factor has not yet tripped in. So that kind of scary sounding kind of atmospherics and uh, projectiles flying around and whatnot that we expect later, that hasn't started yet. It's really just very intense, heavy, sustained rainfall. Um, that's what's happening now. And we have about a minute more, Jerry. Uh, it's it's one thing to say, okay, well, people are becoming a little more sober because of the reports I'm that sorry, are coming in. Did you repeat? It's one thing to say that people have been a little more careful because of the weather reports that are coming in. What are you hearing from the powers that be, JDF, JCF, uh, Brogard, in terms of the Prime Minister, or th these these individuals? Yes. Well, the Office of the Prime Minister uh, early on had um, given a whole series of preparatory tips and so on. The usual, the Prime Minister himself sent out a couple of videos um, appealing for due caution and also calm, a combination thereof. Um, and the, the central government has been relatively quiet in that sense since. But, of course, the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management, ODPEM, they have been the the the, um, the angels on the ground um, in, because their shelters are all set up. Shelters are strategically set up already all over the country, and they're advertising those. And you can get them on a special app. You can get it on WhatsApp. I think for the first time in my memory, the um, we, we have a... A, a special app there as well for the Met Office, so you can actually monitor the progress of the storm and see commentary on WhatsApp as well. Those tools hadn't been previously used, and we haven't really had a system like this in a long time, so I guess those innovations were, had not become as necessary as they are now. So it's all the agencies seem to be working in sync and using whatever technology they have to maximize access and to accelerate the outflow of information, which is very, very useful, I think it can result in saving a few lives. This is just my, my sense, uh, not scientific projection, but my sense is that it can um, save more lives if we do take the tips and respond as required. And we want to thank you so much for making the time, Jerry. Jerry McDaniel, a freelance broadcaster, Radio Jamaica 94 FM, uh, for one waking up, two sharing his insight, and just letting us know what is happening on the ground in the land of wood and water. Hopefully not too much water at this point in time. And uh, we, so he would have just left the... Jerry has left the chat. Jerry has left the chat. But he left us with some good insight, though. Definitely. And I really love the fact that he's talking about people working in sync mm -hmm. and possibly saving more lives just by that information. And once again, that makes me want to uh, issue a call. Please, in times like this or any time, don't, don't, don't gum up the lines. Do spread false information and these sorts of things because the business of lives is, is, is serious stuff. Mm -hmm. We are going to continue to talk about the business of lives, but in ways that you can make sure yours is better health-wise when we come back after these messages here on The Now Morning Show. With the hurricane, oh, what sorrows and pain are to me.